you know, you get to see the virtual controller being installed. If you go to the edit settings, I haven't still powered on. Okay, I haven't still powered on the OBA yet. I'm sorry, my virtual controller yet. It's still in a power off mode. So before that, we'll have to add a serial port so that we can access the console of it. You have to add a serial port when the virtual controller is switched off. You cannot add it when it is switched on. So you go next. You can use connect via network. Next. And you select your server so that you can tell it to the con you can tell it to the machine. This is the IP address of my protocol. This is an outside network we use it in the lab. So I I'll, I'll have to give this to tell it to the machine. My zero ten zero uh, being a port number. Making the firewall for the pellet to work, having like a serial port where we can have multiple connections, irrespective of the VWLC or irrespective of the VM we have. All that you have to do is just go and enable VM serial port connect over network. It's basically for virtual machines. And then say, okay, we'll be able to access the element through any machine. You can just tell it to the particular VM and you can use the console. And here again, here will come with VM network 2. So this is to access uh, the VMware once, once you're in the console to make it access to the switch. So now I'm powering it on. You can see the console here as well. Now, so using via network is where you can have multiple uh, VWLC running and you can have multiple consoles of those respective VWLC so that you don't have to have a single serial port. Having a single serial port, you, when, when you choose an option, use it via network. You can have multiple consoles. As I said earlier, the, the configuration part would be similar as any other controller. As you see, it is booting up, and the, the primary image would be the virtual controller. And the version you can see is 1.01, 1 1.03.1.01. I would want the system name to be same. So the administrative username, OK, I should give it as admin. The password. Uh, uh, I would want the server's interface IP address to be DHCP. I would choose that. And the management interface IP address, this is the, the control of management IP address. I would give it as. And uh, I will, currently I'm using VLAN 8, so the VLAN device is to be 8, port I use it 1, so 1 here. And we have only one port here. This is the HTTP server IP address I would. So we bring my centralized ACP IP address. Virtual gate IP address, I would give it as for now, not one. My mobility group name is RRM and WLC. Sorry. Bridging mode. No, I don't want the bridging mode. Static IP address is yes. So the server is in a uh, inside a big bracket, which is in uh, capital letters. Uh, in, if if you if you press enter, the default would be taken, and then you can con configure the radio server even later. So I would prefer not doing it now. This US being default, and then all this network, all the different radios and auto RFCS. I would want to uh, configure NTP server later. So system time later again. So this completes the configuration path. Later we can do it. We, we can add the AP. Uh, we can add the APM. We can associate a client and all that. But <clears throat> this completes the configuration of virtual controller, which is just similar to any other controller which is co-provides. Okay, now you all can see that after the configuration part, the controller has rebooted, and now I have logged into the controller. So let us check the connectivity with the controller. Uh, let's check basically with the show the face. How many? Now we have management port, the service port, 
which I selected BHCP, so it is getting an IP from the, the from BHCP, and then virtual IP is being this. So I should be able to ping my gateway. Yes, it's pinging. So let me. So and then we should have a look at the GUI. Now I'm opening my browser. As you all can see here. As we all can see the GUI of a virtual controller, which is very similar and the functionality wise it is it is as good as any other controller which is co-provide. So uh, in the next video we shall provide you about the license activation it comes to virtual controller and the EP joining the virtual controller. So currently what you can see is a uh, of the virtual controller in this place. Thank you.